morning guys. Thanks for joining us. It might be smiling, but we are on the M25, so... Yeah, touch wood, fingers <laughs> crossed, it's not been too bad. We're going to sunny Kent. Well, we ain't been sunny. Yeah, we're going to Whitstable today. Yeah, Whitstable, this has come recommended, well, highlighted by, uh, by Dave. Cheers, Dave. Um, but Dave. we've been talking about doing this for so long, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Kent, the Garden of England. Yes. yes. Is it? Yeah, that's what they say, innit? Oh, didn't know that, so there you go. We're struggling to find somewhere to park. We've been round, what, twice, three times yeah, now? It's a great looking place. Beautiful. Beautiful isn't it? However. <laughs> anyway, stop whinging in. No one wants to fucking hear it. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to find somewhere to park now. And we are struggling to find anywhere. Yeah, so we are. currently looking for. These are quite nice little houses. But yeah, I guess we'll uh, check back in when we're parked up. Sorted off elsewhere. Yeah, we might be in a lot. We might be in a different town. Um, oh, and we nearly ran someone over as well. She doesn't look very happy, happy. bless her. Um, send her love. Mm. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's all permit. Oh, you did, what about down there? No. We found a space. We didn't found we? a space, and look what we're going to park and share time and space with. Look, this old <laughs> stuff. We've done it, babe. Okay, so for all that moaning, we're going to take that back because we've just parked. And how much did it cost us? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Residential. <laughs> Residential. Cheers. Thank you. Them apple donuts look nice, actually. Oh, it all looks rather nice. Can I get some fudge. Do you want to get some fudge? Just want to get some fudge. Come on then. <laughs> right, grab the dog. What did you get, Andy? Quite a cream fudge from Whistable. Got his cream. Quite a cream from this cool little shop here. What's it called? I don't know. It's called Honey Cane. Oh, Honey Cane. There you go. Mm -hmm. Honey Cane's Whistable Sweet Shop. What do you reckon, Blue? You want some? <laughs> you, you want, want some? some? You want some? Can I have a bit? <laughs> no. Charlie, you to do that up then. Same with the Easter eggs. <laughs> My dad bought us a bag of Easter eggs and there were five in a little box. And he went, yeah, we've got half each. No, Andy had three from both boxes and left me two. Oops. I hate maths. It's alright, isn't it? It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at all the colours. Go on, carry on. What was she saying, Andy? Just tell him how you was whinging about how he's never in any videos because he, he always has to do everything. Oh, he has to video, I have to have he the dog. He has to video, he has to hold the dog. So look. I have to drive, I have to park. I'm videoing. <laughs> and he's walking the dog. Everybody's yeah. happy. Ooh, what's this? Andrew, your thoughts on Whitstable? I, I like it. It's got some cool houses. I understand yeah. why people do like it. Oh, fuck. Three, two, one, cue, Roger. I like it. I like Whitstable. I think great little shops, little independents. Those are little coffee shops. It's quirky. And they've got in the high street, what I liked about the clothes shops was they were more independent designers who make their clothes from the shop and then sell them in the shops. Yeah, you're not going to find them anywhere else. Classic old girl. Look, cuts and sews every piece herself. Yeah, this is the shop I was actually talking about a minute ago. But yeah, it's cool. And this picture I thought was quite quirky. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I was walking down here and I went to put something in the bin and realised it's not a bin. It's a plant pot. It's a plant pot now. Nice. Yeah, how creative. Upcycling. Yes. 
Impressive. Our trip continued into nearby Margate and the site of a mysterious and ancient network of underground rooms and tunnels hidden under residential areas and only discovered in 1835 when found beneath a property being worked on. Who knows what it's all about, but adding to the odd, the grotto is also ornately decorated and patterned in 4.6 million shells, although I don't know who would have counted those. I was determined to go for a swim, however, the water was very cold, it was very windy, so I decided against it. Such a liar. <laughs> I'm really hoping he's got our brownies. Looks promising, yes! Did you get them? I've got chocolate brownies, pan of chocolate and croissants. I've got the water, so cheap in there, 27p for these waters. Amazing, well done. We're at Herne Bay and this is Herne Bay Pier and we're going to have a little wander. Been shut out before we even got on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're headed back to the car. <laughs> Although we did get a bloody good parking space. Yeah. As always, we got but. unlucky today, all the way through me after moaning at the start. We left the town centre of Herne Bay to try and find somewhere quiet to park for the night. We have discovered a really quiet, hidden, convenient, yeah, peaceful, and it's got a Roman, um, Roman ruins. Roman ruins. Awesome. I do. But first, we're headed back into town to grab ourselves some dinner, get some fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. Fish and chips shop. Fish and chips shop. Fish and chips. Belting. <laughs> this is working out Belting all right. Fish and chips. <laughs> See you in a bar. Oh, oh, I thought you said it's belting as in like, wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. <laughs> So we stayed in this car park last night, Canterbury Council, got it all sorted. They give you motorhome parking base, this one. Well, it says on the sign about there's no payment overnight. I know that uh, the ones in Herne Bay, I think are a couple of quid overnight, sort of nine till early doors. This one was uh, free overnight. We had a great time, nice and peaceful. There are blues and a coffee shop just here. If you want it, there's a kids play park over the back. And of course you've got the castle that uh, we've seen, which is just behind there as well. So all in all, beach, parking, facilities, bins, <laughs> it's pretty damn good. So I'm just knocking up some breakfast. Look who's still in bed. <laughs> yeah, but I'm working. She's working. I am working. <laughs> so I've been up since the crack of dawn, working <laughs> as well, tidying, preparing, making breakfast, looking after her. Um, just generally caring. I'm working. <laughs> Maybe we'll move on for a coffee.
the Dartford Tunnel and we're going to have a little uh, bet, aren't we? Yeah, now we're not suggesting you do this. No, we're not we saying this. we are specialists, we are highly trained individuals. In yes, <laughs> but yeah. we're going to do the test. We're going through the Dartford Tunnel. Mind you, that's if there's no traffic. It has been ridiculously traffic. blocked and this is only doable doable when you can do it at a uh, good speed, yeah, if it's going really slow. And at the moment it's 30. Right, let's see if we can do it. You ready? So, on the count of three, we're going through the tunnel. Three, two, one. <gasps> Thanks for watching guys. Yeah, yeah. it's been a fun one, isn't it? Yeah, it's been really fun. We've explored Whitstable, we enjoyed it and we will go back. Um, and if you do want to see more of our van tales. Yeah, like and subscribe please. Yeah, and remember to ring the bell for notifications. And follow us on Instagram. Yeah, and remember guys, just do what makes your heart happy. Bye. See you again. <laughs> that was a load of rubbish, wasn't it?